happened to me when I they escaped the we uh because that was the way um a caregiver for Parkinson patient. Um that's why we want to talk about today is um Parkinson disease. Um you're listening, um you're watching the YouTube for going all together community. Uh, this is a channel for our collective idea to um, go and all together, take a village. Um, just recently, I I haven't been knowing the Parkinson for a long time, just for the study wise, but I have not really reaching out people that have a Parkinson disease that I had known. Uh, just a few weeks ago, one of the my Nepal. He's in Taiwan, he's kind of older people. So he mentioned about he has a Parkinson. So some that somehow he's um then we kind of giving some idea about the Parkinson. So I started research research it. And every time I started research it, I kind of had the opportunity to um, meet the Parkinson patient one on one um as a his her caregiver over this weekend. So that's why I want to share this with you. Uh, when every time I do the medical research, I will start with WHO because they have more enriched information. So we're going to share the screen here. So we're going to uh, share this um, Parkinson's disease from WHO, the whole organization. Um, as we know, Parkinson is a non-cognitive uh, condition uh, associated with your brain, and some kind of tremor would be making uh, the patient um, shake most of the time. Uh, because um, you can see Michael J. Fox Foundation, let me jump to there here, uh, because he has been well-known from the American um, actor, so he kind of, when he started with the Parkinson research, we kind of get uh, more resource, kind of everybody start to uh, understand this disease. So we go back to WHO. Um, because this disease is most likely is going to be a uh, lifetime long. Um, so we're going to carry out entirely. And so I think the only detection or I have been heard several of the Parkinson related to a genetic. So if you have a family member that have any of the cancer or any other medical condition that relate to um other health issue that somehow will kind of contribute to your Parkinson later on. So I would suggest um people who have a histor history from history about Parkinson you may want to do the Blowing work, work to do the family tree to see if this is family contribution. So somehow that is um way to go. Uh, this is for the genetic. I understand some people may or not want to uh, focusing on the genetic to even though if they have parents have a gen uh, Parkinson, they uh, their children may choose not to know or not to know. I think it really depends on the individual because when you know it, it kind of gives you some anxiety. When you not know it, you kind of just live on the day to day of the life. So somehow Parkinson's just like a dementia, there's no um, cure to for safe from medication or any other pharmaceutical uh, research on this, this kind of disease, but somehow um, a lot of patients I've seen so far, uh, wind deep stimulation somehow can uh, reduce the tumor. So, and if you are able to undergo some experiment procedure, somehow that may help you to uh, maintain that. And then most of the uh, disease may associate with uh, depression or mood swing. Some of that somehow that. That is really depending on the, the patient itself and their family and their supporting systems. So uh, regardless how many, uh, what other disease you have, I think the support system is really important. And also you may want to find out about 
um, any diet exercise that along with your health provider to give you guide to that. So um, Parkinson's disease here, I think so far we have a 8.5 million worldwide as a statistic. Um, not really the exact number, just somehow you can look at the WHO for analysis information. And uh, for the Parkinson, NIH has some definition and, and what is the Parkinson BC. Um, they say tumor, reality, and then many other uh, cognitive. You can read to that from the is the Parkinson BC to the NIH research. And then here you mentioned about who's likely to get a Parkinson disease. Um, you mentioned about age is upset is 70, but uh, somehow I think her civil patient was much more earlier before they reaching their 40. So some is even earlier. So I don't know if that is still accurate. So to go back to see. You mentioned the uh, Parkinson affect more men than women, and I have mean men and women, so that is still um, just for the observation here. And how does study genetic environment and other link to PD? And this is the treatment for drug, for medication. And of course, um, I have mentioned about the, um, the medication side effects. So somehow those side effects need to be able to maintain as well. So it has to be manageable. The, you know, so we can reach to that information. And this is international. Parkinson, it's just a map. I didn't really have the exact map how the Parkinson is going to be spread it. So that's something I would also want to share that later. Um, so this is some sort of information here. And I pull out the, I have done some Parkinson research. So I want to pull some link here. Um, this is several of the video on YouTube and you can read to them and somehow I really think um, for the Parkinson patient and the family, I think this is gonna be a long term just like dementia, but somehow dementia is more like a brain activity. So sometimes depending on what type of dementia you have, if you have fungal or regular dementia or Alzheimer, just somehow in different stage with a big umbrella under dementia. So and I think Parkinson will be less than brain, but somehow might be maybe later later on. So each stage is different. So important is keep um your physician um uh, throughout the medical treatment and maybe try some of the uh new clinical trial and to find out if there's any other uh new text drug or other um surgical uh, opportunity for you to kind of understand the Parkinson treatment as well. Um, I will share the link later with the uh, another from my information here, so you can read to them and find out about those Parkinson and relate to any other topic. And my goal here is just um kind of share up about the Parkinson's awareness, I think is about regardless of what kind of medication you take, um, about the side effect. And and this thing is very important is your positive outlook. I know you kind of know is kind of hopeless in the situation with your Parkinson condition, but somehow a lot of people because you can see from those links I share. Uh, they all have their up and down, and but they all overcome it and find the best solution for you. Their solution may not yours, but you need to find some solution that is best for you. 
since you're gonna be carrying out this um, disease for your entire life. So you may want to be more positive and think about something um, you can do, but definitely you don't want to overdo it because um, um, your family does want you to taking care of yourself and you can um, managing it to see what you can or cannot do and then always have a very a positive out outlook for life and still continue living because any disease shouldn't define us or stop us doing what we want to do. And then um, if it's any, for example, the tumor, then maybe some kind of deep um, brain stimulation can stop tremor, then maybe you want to talk to your healthcare provider or other medication and all of all some uh, function. And then if you feel depressed about your disease and some from time to time, you maybe want to work on the medication and plus you also want to have a support group and talk to any other mental health professional. So that way, you can continue to managing your disease. I know it's very easy to send it down, but somehow you can plan your goal. And I was just talking to um, this kid when I do the caregiver for this uh, Pakistan patient. I mentioned that um, she can use different skills. If you, I know some Pakistan, you have a condition to uh, press, use your um, because you won't be able to press too hard, so sometimes you'll be able to write. But you can use a tool I would just mention about. You can use the pen, and the pen has a uh, rubber in the end. So instead of uh, you uh, clicking it, you can just, for example, I don't think I can do this one. Oh, I'm sharing right now. So, for example, I would just do this. You see the screen, the data in my screen, I actually didn't use my pen, to, my finger to touch the keyboard. I used the pen to touch the keyboard. So I can type it. Then I can erase it. See? I can go back and forth. And of course, that had to also uh, coordinate it with your wireless mouse because um, your hand will not be able to adjust them. So make sure you have a wireless mouse that you be able to control it. So that, like click right, click left, so you can move the mouse around it. So use the proper tools like nearby you, so that somehow, and then of course, um, it's better to see you can careful for your diet exercise so that way you can maintain certain weight. And I think, um, OB is always keep um to aid into a lot of more disease, uh, especially if you um kind of have an OB issue or overweight issue, somehow that will aid into your disease as well. So that's something you would want to consider uh to talk to um health professional or your fitness um trainer to kind of adjust that as well. I just want to share um, more that overall information, not very particularly, just um, kind of give it out some online today. And hopefully we will have more information from the research point of view to share with you. Okay, um, thank you for watching the, our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel have all kind of different information. It's for, for the collectible. It's, this is a future video collection from all the knowledge and share for the going on together community. And hopefully you'll be enjoying this program and, and other program you can continue to watching us. Uh, we are looking forward to have a Parkinson um, patient come into, may not be a sharing through the video, but we'll be trying to get to the audio uh, to share with us. Um, thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to see you next time. Um, thank you for watching our Parkinson um, research today. And hopefully you will get some information to other site and and go to those videos. Hopefully you will be able to inspire by it and find a way to best treat yourself. Um, thank you for watching and good night, everyone. If you want to subscribe our channel, just click the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Good night, everyone.